water is slightly warm. Is this warm enough so that your hand feels normal in it? Called tepid water. Yeah, just a little bit warm. I'm going to make a mash. This really works. It's the most excellent bread making technique. I've been making it for years like this. Stir it in. And keep adding water until you get consistency. Whether you're Stands up in it as well. Mm. Great, great for kids to make bread. And leave this in a warm place for some hours until the yeast really worked. We've got our ingredients the finest stone ground organic flour that needs to be stone ground. Or organic, but ideally organic wholemeal flour. If it comes down to mash like that, just work it with the eye, that's what I've found. Add a little bit more flour until you get a particular consistency that really works. And that, over several hours, will actually froth up. And we'll have a very, very fine foundation that we will later need and turn into our bread dough that will then rise again after we use it a second time and we've added some sunflower seeds to be nice. So that's it basically. That's all this is. Just a mash like that. Make sure it's warm enough and feel underneath, put your finger in. There's a bit a little bit more kettle water in there hot water, just a bit more water from the kettle in there, will make it perfect. That's a technique I've worked on. Originally in uh, John Seymour's book, Self Sufficiency, now all the measuring and things like that, I, after all that I found that this technique really was the key to success at making a loaf of bread that really did rise. Just feel it. You know, if you make it a little bit too much and have more bread, it will, it will last. It's very fine, fine bread, not forever though. Again, mm, a little bit warmer. Slapdash approach does seem to work. Spiral them here in the kitchen baking bread. <laughs> like a hat. I agree. Anyway, there it is. That's how to do it. Definitively. So I've stirred it in, nice and smooth, and as you can see, I'm starting to get small bubbles there already. Yeah? Just occasionally, yeah? Now that will form into the very finest dough later on, once it's all um, risen. John Seymour's book, self you see. Excellent book for all to have. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and join in shortly, yeah? Um, um, when this has uh, started frothing, and you'll find um, um, that we'll do a second kneading stage in a few hours. Leave a couple at least, I'll pop it up in the airing cupboard or some nice warm place. See you guys later. That's in England, anywhere else in the world of course. Just leave it somewhere warm with a cloth over it. Put my napkin over it. See, that should work. Lovely, isn't it? Mm, exciting.